Throughout history, man has marveled at the vast complexity of the universe. Without a single unified voice, humanity has been left searching for answers to the unknown. Now, one man has the power to change that and to spread his voice across the earth for all of mankind to hear. One man. Me. Well, I was born in a simple log cabin. In, uh, no, that's not true. Uh, when I was 13 years old, my voice changed in the middle of a sentence. Mom, I'll help you with the dishes. Literally. And it never went back. And I was just cut up in class. And when I went to school the next day, I didn't want to talk. And, and the teacher got bugged about it. She said, why aren't you saying something? And I said, what do you want me to say? And I was sent to the office because she thought I was screwing with her. Uh, and for a while, there was a really upset me, but then I discovered that I could be everybody's dad. Jimmy can't come to school today because he's not feeling very well. The minute you talk to Don, you'll know that his voice is so unique and you could see whatever he did, he was going to be able to take it and uh, make something out of it. Grab your joystick. The 80s are back. It's Code Monkeys coming this spring. Does your script say grab your joystick or grab onto your joystick? Uh, probably says grab onto, but I just like to edit stuff just to make sure you're listening. <laughs> uh huh. Wise guy, eh? Yeah. I started off initially as a recording engineer and editor, then I wound up being a film editor, then I wound up being a producer. I was also a writer, of course. His first trailer ever was called Gunfighters of Casa Grande. I'll leave a pause here for your audience to go, ooh. Okay. Which was a spot that he had written, and he showed up at the studio to record the talent that was supposed to do it, and for some reason they didn't make it. And they said, Don, why don't you do it? And that was the first trailer he ever did. And I said, well, fine. I took the $82 and ran like a thief. And then for the next couple of years thereafter, I would drop a line here and there. And I started doing complete spots. And pretty soon I got so busy I couldn't have a production company anymore. So I just went into the announcing full time. And now it's a quarter of a century later. I've done about 5,000 films. He's one of the people that helped redesign it from the old days with the big block letters and all that. And Don was the one that brought it into a more modern age and refined it. Yeah, we wrote the original scripts of the inner world and all that stuff. Yeah, that's become the inner world is the industry joke. Uh, and he's probably said that phrase more than anybody that's ever existed. He's the one who really kind of came up with that deep, rich, authoritative sound and it seems like everyone else just kind of copies him. I think if you have something that, that is of value to people, there's no reason not to share it. I get a lot of calls from you know, a lot of things on my, on my web mail, you know, saying, would you do my voicemail for me? If I have the time, I'll knock it off and send it to him. In a time when Adam Slutsky is unavailable, one voicemail holds the key to your communication. It's funny because I get a chance to do some inventing and write some stuff because it has to be new and different all the time, and so I do that. Leave a message at the beep. I know where you live. Well, it's amazing, because for a while I thought, oh, he's just always the low, gruff, rambling kind of thing, but no, he does a lot of stuff. This January, 20th Century Fox presents Larry the Cable Guy and the biggest Ooh. mama ever in the movie event 18 years in the making. Reno 911, Miami. This guy knows how to do one degree, two degrees more or less, where other people just do they can just do one thing. I love doing action films, like I did Terminator 2, and it was all very, very quiet. Because I have, unfortunately, I have a, a, my voice lives in an area of the sound spectrum that nothing else lives in. So I can speak very, very quietly, and it cuts through explosions, it cuts through music, it cuts through everything. And his enemy is the deadliest machine ever built. This time, there are two. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Terminator 2, Judgment Day. The words dictate to me how they want to be read. First, it's the 24 script I just read. There's only one way to read that for me, the way I read it. The 24 premiere event continues tonight at 8, 7 central. It's, it's, it's automatic with me. I don't even know how I could explain what triggers it because it's been in place inside of me for so long. And I've been there to watch that grow over the years to see how big he's actually become. But his, his ego hasn't grown. He has an immense talent. He was in the right place at the right time. Don very much has been an inspiration to, I think, anybody who does voiceover trailer work. And that's what you have to bring to voice acting, is to bring their own personal experience, their own personal take on horror or love or drama or comedy or music or whatever. How you feel about that, if you can bring that through your reading, 
it will give you a unique voice. The Muhammad Ali, the champ of voice, Don LaFontaine. In a world where there was no Don LaFontaine, we all have a lot more money. Don LaFontaine, the man, the myth, the voice of a legend. You're looking at the luckiest man on earth. You really are. I'm just doing this till that cashier's job at Denny's opens up, actually. As soon as that happens, I'm gone.